Hello, everyone. Let's learn today about the weaving method of this Martian orchid. This one is also a relatively easy to learn bouquet. It consists of three parts, buds, flowers, and leaves. Let's first take a look at what materials we need to use. Let's take a look at the weaving method of Martian orchid petals. First, take out the color of the wool we like. Tie a knot on your finger. We use a 4.0 crochet hook. Chain stitch. There are a total of 14 chain stitches, and one is taken out by winding them. We use a 4.0 crochet hook and wire it out to calculate one. Fourteen chain stitches. After picking it up, we pass the first stitches. At this time, a thin wire needs to be added. Put the iron wire on top and wind it. Go around the wire. We held the wire with two fingers winding out. Let's hook five single crochets first. Continue to hook four on the next stitches. Good. After five single crochet. Next, we crochet a half double crochet. Wrap the yarn through the next stitches. Bring out the three loops with the yarn. Next, we crochet five double crochet. Wrap the yarn through the next stitches. Bring out two of the three loops. Wrap the yarn again. Complete the double crochet. We finish by crocheting the remaining four double crochet. After crocheting the five double crochet, for the next stitch, we crochet a half double crochet. Bring out the three loops. Finally, we wrap the yarn. For the last stitches, we crochet. First crochet a single crochet. Fold the wire down. Then, crochet another single crochet. At this point, crochet two chain stitches. In the place where the single crochet was crocheted, wrap the yarn through the stitches and bring it out. Crochet a popcorn stitch. In the stitches, crochet another single crochet. Correspondingly, crochet back. The first stitches is a half double crochet. Next are five double crochets. Next up are six single crochets. Five double crochet hooks are hooked, and then one half double crochet. Three coils brought out directly. The remaining five single crochets. After hooking five single crochets, wear it first. The chain stitch of stitches is wound out from the back. Hook a slip stitch and break the line. This completes the weaving method of the petals. Our flower has six petals. 
We just have to hook up all the petals we need. Next, let's take a look at the weaving method of flower buds. What we hook here are two colored buds. The hooks are all the same. There are green buds, there are white buds and pink buds. Next, I'm going to do a demonstration with pink wool. Let's wrap it around our fingers twice. Through crochet hook. Yarn over and bring up two chain stitch. Yarn over and hook six double crochet in a ring. After yarn over, we find the short thread. Pull it tight. Pull the thread head again, tighten the coil. At this time, we pull the thread head tight, press the thread head backward, turn over the knitting piece, find the chain stitch corresponding to the first double crochet. We pass through the chain stitch. Yarn over. Hook a slip stitch. Yarn over and hook a chain stitch. Pass through the stitch that has been drawn out. We hook a decrease. Pass through the next stitches, again. Bring out three coils directly. This is the decrease of single crochet. Next, we hook three decreases. Yarn over. After hooking three decreases, we pass through stitches across the street. Directly take out the thread and break the thread. This completes the weaving of a flower bud. We can hook six ourselves. Let's take a look at the weaving method of leaves. The first thing you need to do is prepare a 20 centimeter thin iron wire. Then mix it with green wool. Tie a knot on your finger. Next we need to pick up 31 knitting needles. Winding and taking out one good. After picking up 31 chain stitches, we wore the first stitches. At this time, you need to put thin wire on top. Go around the thin wire hook out coil. Clamp the thin wire between two fingers winding out. Let's hook a single crochet first. Next stitch half double crochet. We wind the wire take out coil. Three coils bring it out at the same time. Next up is the double crochet. Let's first take a look at the knitting method of double crochet winding out. Three coils bring out two winding out. Knitting method to complete a double crochet. A total of hooks are needed from here. 25 double crochet. We've hooked one. Next, we took the remaining 24 finish it. Let's go around another double crochet. By hooking here, we'll hook 25 double crochets. Our next injection is a half double crochet. There is still the last stitches, left and we pass through stitches. Fold the wire in half. At this time, we will hook two single crochet first. After hooking it up, use two chain stitches. 
Hook a dog's tooth needle. After hooking it, hook another single crochet on the stitches. Reverse return hook. Next hook half double crochet. The remaining 25 double crochet. Hook half double crochet. Winding. Hook a slip stitch. Good. We need to hook two leaves. Just hook the number of blades we need. Let's take a look at the production method of flower hearts next. We need to have the glue gun ready in advance. Take out about 10 centimeters of tin wire and yellow wool. We use wool to put it in about one third of the way. Hold the thread tightly and wrap it firmly. Wrap it around for a short time. We folded the wire in half. So the wool winds it around. Wrap it around 5 centimeters. We use glue guns at the end. Put a little glue on and break the wire. We need to use small clips. Merge these circles together. That's enough. Complete it according to the quantity we need in this way. We can use this little circle. Merge these circles together. That's enough.